Okay, so right now in Memphis seems to be some sort of active shooting going on. This guy's armed and dangerous. They're saying it's a 19-year-old black kid. Unfortunately, um, usually these shootings are pretty much reserved for, you know, white people are usually the people, the ones behind it. But this time, you know, it happens to be one of us. Um, this guy is he's clearly he's looking for some sort of clout, some sort of attention. He knows he's most likely going to die tonight because he's even live streaming a bunch of these shootings on Facebook. Now, the one thing that obviously it's always an unfortunate situation, but it seems like his attacks and the way he's going about his business seems pretty random. So he didn't put too much planning going on behind it. He's not really after a specific group of people, a specific gender or a specific race. Nah, it just looks like he's just trying to kill as many people as he can before he eventually either gets killed or he gets apprehended. Now, the one positive thing I can really say about this whole thing is that at least he didn't put, you know, a, a game plan or have some sort of way to take out multiple people. Because the first video that I seen, which I'm clearly not going to post, it looks like he went into some sort of convenience store. He seen one black, was it black? No, it was actually a white dude he saw and he just fired off a couple shots. First, he was on like live saying that, like, y'all don't think I'll, y'all don't think I'm going to shoot. Y'all don't think I ain't about it. And it looks like he's foaming from the mouth. So... He's probably on some sort of drugs. We're not too sure what type of pills he's taking or what he's ingested or what he's potentially been drinking. We're going to find out a bunch of stuff, you know, when it, the toxicology report and the autopsy report comes back because it's looking like the police, when they finally get to this guy, they're probably not going to try and apprehend him. They're going to kill him on sight. But as far as, um, you know, the shootings being random and not being some sort of planned attack, even though it's always bad, that's the one positive thing we can take away from this is that he could take out a lot of more people had he really planned it out. Like, had he went to some sort of like movie theater that we've seen in the past or some sort of show, if there was like a concert going on where you have a bunch of people in a really enclosed area and there's not really one place to escape, it's really like one way in, one way out, that's when really you can really do a lot of damage. But it looks like this guy, He's doing this pretty randomly. He's just driving down the streets, driving up into the streets of Memphis, just looking for anything to kill. I believe they even said that he's on his way to Arkansas because he was in one Infinity. He ended up ditching it, carjacked another car, and he just took off. By the time a bunch of you guys see this video, this guy is probably either going to be dead or he's going to be apprehended. I'm going to take the... I'm going to take the guess and say that he's probably going to be dead just due to the fact that he's black. When it comes to these situations, for some reason, a lot of the times, you know, when they're of a Caucasian descent, they always seem to get apprehended. But when they black, nah, he's going straight down. But it looks like this guy doesn't really have too much to live for. He probably knew that his days were numbered, whether people were after him or, you know, he just wanted to commit some sort of suicide. And he's like, you know what? Let me go out in some sort of style. Let me go out in some fashion and find a way to make my name be remembered, even though it'll be for uh, infamy more than fame. But hey, this was the life that some people choose when they really don't have too much going on. They don't have no drive, no real ambition. They're not too sure what their next step or where their next meal is coming from. They just feel like, you know what? This life situation, it's not really working out in my favor. So hey, let me just check out, on out of here and see what's to be going on for me in the next life but and when you see this dude just a picture of this dude i mean he's smiling looks like a young dude they're saying he's 19 years old it's just i don't know what's going on i don't know what's up with the streets of memphis i don't know what's going on in the water i don't know if it's the music i'm not sure man it just <sighs> if you're in memphis man you got loved ones you want to make sure you check on them make sure they are all right but if you are in Memphis, just stay home tonight. Don't go out to no clubs. Don't go out to no bars. It's not worth it because you don't know who you're going to run into. The same with Arkansas, too, because they said that's where he's heading to as well. So I'm just looking at the, the pictures that he has on Facebook. This one looks like he has what? He's standing with a bunch of money, got two guns, Z Concho. Then there's another one of him in the backseat. Looks like he's smoking. Some sort of black and mild flashing some money. Looks like there's some ones in there too. So it's not like he's really like stacked up. Another one of him inside a store. Money on the ground. I mean, just looks like the typical, you know, 19-year-old that's 
just around in Memphis, but something triggered into this boy's mind to say that, hey, you know what? I'm tired of this life. I want to check out. I want to kill people. And that's what he decided to do. Just unfortunate that it happens to be somebody black. You know, it's just we already have a hard time as it is climbing up the eight ball, climbing up the ladder in society. It's just it's just stuff like this just sets us back even more, even though we already been set back, what, 400 years? Man. We'll see if any additional updates come out, but I honestly think by the time that we get anything else, this guy will probably be dead. So, yeah, man, uh, that's my take on this whole conversation, man. Like if you want to, comment if you want to, subscribe if you want to. If not, life goes on.